the, the importance of defined benefit plans, why, they, why they're effective is about recruitment. It helps those mid-career, you keep those mid-career employees to the end of their career. When you, when you don't have that, you're going to have higher turnovers. You're going to spend more money on hiring and more money on training. The other, thing, the other thing is important with the public sector is a lot of these jobs are career jobs. I mean, police officers and firefighters, for example, are impacted, but they would, they would be under this cash balance plan. But those aren't jobs you just do for a few years. Those are jobs you do for a career. And there are many jobs like that in the public sector. So we have to sort of recognize the kind of workforce we need, the, the, the extent to which it takes time to get trained, and the loss of the higher turnover if we did not have a benefit that kept people, um, kept skilled workers. Bill, it's important to put the hybrid cash balance plan in perspective with what's going on in the private sector. The hybrid cash balance plan is a guarantee. It is a guarantee of at least 4% return. That's far more than most people get in the private sector. And in addition to that 4% guarantee, they can get even more. The, um, the actuarial analysis by Kavanaugh McDonald said, well, it could cost more if we had 7.75% returns. Well, what's funny is our current system is going broke with 7.75% assumed return. If, if not for the fact that, you know, we continue to say funding is the sole mm -hmm. problem. The CERS program, the County Employee Retirement System, has been funding at full funding in their $5 billion in the hole that taxpayers now have to make up. So if we want to, you know, it is a funding problem. But more importantly, it's a long-term cost problem, and then we need to restructure the long-term cost benefits. Senate Bill 2, as a total, with the ca hybrid cash plan, with, you know, freezing the COLAs until we can fund them, um, will save $10 billion over 20 years. That's half a billion dollars a year on average.